British parliamentarian backs article harps on INEC CBS independence. Wow, so a member of parliament in the British uh, government um, is now uh, aligning and harping support for article and saying that INEC and CBN um, are, as an independent institution should truly remain independent. Wow, so let's see how article uh, was able to end this relationship. A British parliamentarian and the Baron of Kingsclare, Lord Dan Hannan, has expressed support for the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar. Hannan, in a chat with This Day Yesterday, also advised the federal government to ensure that the independence of two critical institutions in Nigeria, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the Central Bank of Niger, CBN, were preserved. Hmm. He noted that as Africa's biggest economy, the rule of law must be observed at all times. Hanan explained, Nigeria is Africa's biggest economy, biggest population, and biggest hope. The rule of law matters immensely, and that includes the independence of state offices, including the Central Bank and INEC. Nigeria is an old friend and ally of the United Kingdom, and we all very much hope that it will ensure free and fair elections. I would add that I am a strong supporter of closer trade and investment ties between the UK and Nigeria, and I am confident that an articulate government would facilitate them. Can you imagine? Hanan had about three weeks ago condemned the move by the Department of State Services against the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Mfele, and had stressed the need for adherence to the rule of law and independence of the CBN. It was reported on Wednesday that Atiku, who is presently in London, held a strategic meeting with the British Council. Atiku, who had been on vacation in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates since January 1, arrived in London on Monday for the meetings. Hmm. According to a source, the meetings which came about five weeks before the presidential elections were to discuss areas of future potential collaboration between both countries. Can you imagine? You are not yet president. You are already going to discuss ties and lie. All of them are running to UK because they believe UK will influence elections in Nigeria. But again, I think Bahari has just come out to say that all foreign nations should not interfere with Nigerian elections. But there are two sides of it. If the, if INEC does not behave itself, does not do what it's supposed to do, of course, foreign countries will interfere. Or if the government itself influences the outcome of the result, foreign countries will interfere. But if they do this free and fair, I think foreign countries will have no reason to interfere with the elections. That is the truth. The PDP presidential candidate a series of tweets on Tuesday had stated, I just concluded successful meetings with the Right Honorable Andrew Mitchell, MP, Minister for Development and Africa in the Foreign um, and Africa in the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDU, amongst other key senior UK government officials. It was a suspicious occasion Okay, it was an auspicious occasion to share my vision for Nigeria encapsulated in the unity seed with them. It is a vision united by security, economy, education, and devolution of powers. I solicited their partnership and I am encouraged by the UK government's strong interest in helping Nigeria recover every facet of its life. Wow. So Atiku went to Dubai actually for vacation, and then from he left January one, uh, and then from that vacation he left for UK to discuss this tie between Nigeria and United Kingdom. Hmm. 
So what he's saying here is that he went to discuss this tie um, because of the Nigerian security system and several other things that UK government as an ally of Nigeria can help Nigeria to recover from every facet of its life. So because of that, an MP, all right, a member of parliament of the UK government, um, Baron of Kingsclare, Lord Dan Hannan, or expressed his support for Atiku uh, from that meeting. He is saying that Nigeria is an ally of UK and they've been partners for long. And so um, having held the meeting, he believed that Atiku has all it takes to lead Nigeria aright. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well, at the end of the day, it is um, it is left for Nigerians to make their decision, to support whoever they want to support, vote whoever they want to vote. That is the truth about it. So, yeah, it's good to secure uh, the external views about one's performance and one's potential as um, aspiring president of Nigeria. But at the end of the day, it behoves on Nigerians who are actually going to vote to choose who they want as president by voting the way they want to vote. That is the truth about it. So, but what everybody is asking for, both local and international, is that the election must be free and fair. Like what Hanan said uh, here in, a, in, in alignment with Atiku, is that INEC should be truly independent and CBN should be truly independent. Uh, well, CBN is coming in here because uh, the federal government and the DSS have um, made plans and made attempts to arrest CBN governor for some uh, uh, financial cases, all right, which CBN failed to submit himself to the to the legislators for questioning. Um, so, but Hanan is reacting here that they should allow rule of law to exist in Nigeria, all right? So, wow. So, it's okay. Atiku has gone to secure uh, this this support. We just hope that um, it will mean well for him. But it will Nigerians have the final say. My concern is that why Atiku living in Dubai? Is he going to lead rule us from Dubai? That is the problem, right? Is he going to lead us from Dubai? You are a president, going to be a president of Nigeria, but you live in Dubai with your family. Okay, so what does that mean? Right? <sighs> Is he going to lead us from Dubai? You have to be in Nigeria. Somebody say, what is the problem with that? He has the right to live anywhere as a private citizen. That's true anyway. He has the right to live anywhere as a private citizen. So we just hope that if he eventually becomes the president of Nigeria, he should come down to Nigeria. All right? At least if we already ruled from UK for two years, it is not a new thing. Can you imagine? So is it normal? Is it normal for you to be a president of a country and you are leading from abroad? And then you lead him by proxy. You know, you put somebody there to work for you or you stay where you are and do it. No. Britain supports, Britain support Atiku with how many votes? <laughs> that is the question. And as I was saying, that no matter what is Hanan, the MP uh, of UK government, no matter what he says about supporting Atiku, it is left for Nigerians who are going to vote to determine the final situation our local mentality that is the truth you believe that when you run abroad to ask for help that that is where you get it meanwhile what you need to excel is just within but when peter obi and tunubu visit same british you people were celebrating as if they already win election why is article own become a nightmare to you people <laughs> it was a pdp person asking plenty questions british will never want nigeria to develop because it will be at their detriment. They will never support good governance. That will mean that will mean no more looted fund from Africa. Atiku Abubakar is the answer to our problems. Well, so yeah, so the hand of British government in Nigeria is actually somehow um, um, they're playing it like you know with uh, with caution. The truth is that they don't mean well for Nigeria because they have always looked for. Um, they have always supported the North to come to dominate Nigerian government, you know, based on the old mentality, by telling the Northerners that they have to lead Nigeria if they have to succeed or if they have to be relevant in Nigeria. 
And that is why the, the Aousas and the Northerners have seen presidency as uh, their birthright. And they're up to now, the UK is still supporting them in a very, in a very corny manner. All right? Just like what this guy said, they like the brain drain in Nigeria to UK. UK likes it. The UK people don't go to school, they don't work. They're using immigrants to do practically everything. So even the health sector, they, are, they don't have enough people, is Nigerians. And of all the tribes and countries in Africa, Nigerians are the people dominating uh, the immigration to UK just after the uh, the Brexit that uh, the UK uh, broke away from the rest of the EU. All right, replacing the EU citizens that are using Africa and mainly Nigerians. Hmm. Okay, oh, so this is what has been said here. So UK should lead us, leave us alone. But they will leave us alone. We only need to learn sense, right? We only need to have sense and be ourselves and lead our own country by ourselves. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.